My name is uh, Chetan Nandakumar, and I'm an AI engineer at a Silicon Valley company, but I'm also building my own Web3 climate change company on the side. And what in particular made you want to do this? What, what are the problems with your workflow right now as far as you see it? What do you think yeah. are the issues with it? So I think the biggest thing is a lot of overhead of just like copying information in, in ways. And just, I think I do spend a lot of, inform- a lot of time in organizing my, my information and my workflow. And so I'm looking to really optimize it because it feels like there's newer tools, newer processes to actually do everything more efficiently. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's actually go into specifics. Uh, What I want to do is to just tackle this, maybe look at three to four tasks that you're doing on a daily basis. I know right now, one of the things you're working on is pitching journalists. And then I want to talk about how you're organizing information that you need to do all this work. But let's first do this. I'm going to have you share your screen. And then what I want you to do is, you know, walk me through the different tasks that you do and the tools that you okay. use for each task. A lot of times I'm reaching out to people in different capacities. So everything I'm going to share today is about my role as an entrepreneur and um, launching this company. So one thing that I do is that I reach out to people and correspond with them about what I'm building. The name of the company that I'm launching is called Avatry, like Avatar. And so suppose I want to reach out to someone about Avatry, I do compose and then I'll go to Gmail and I'll put in their uh, email, I'll put in the subject, reconnect. And then very often people will want to know like a blurb about my company. So I'll go to Evernote and I have all these blurbs that I've written that I can copy and paste. So I might copy this blurb about us. I'll come back over here. Let's just make this to myself, let's say, reconnect. Hey, great chatting with you today. Here's a blurb about us. And then I'll paste it. And then I'll have to reformat it a little bit because it always gets a little wonky when I copy and paste. Gotcha. And then I'll send it off. So that's one thing that I do quite a bit off. Quick question. How many, not that you would know exactly, just testing it. How many keystrokes does it take to do all that, do you think? Geez, a compose is one, then typing out my name and subject and all that, and the email, the content, the email is another, and then going to Evernote's another. So that's a whole collection of keystrokes is all the email composing. And then I go to Evernote, which is I do a copy and paste in Evernote. So I have to get to the note, I have to find the note, and then I have to find the blurb, copy and paste it. So maybe half a dozen there, and then right. copy back into the email. So probably in total, maybe 20 keystrokes just to compose a damn email. Sure. Yeah. Okay, cool. Great. All right. Great. So Gmail and Evernote, what else are you working on as far as tasks go? What are the other things that are doing? This is one example. I know we're talking about outreach. So this is one area. What are the other things that you're working on where you're having issues with managing workflow or you're just spending time moving information? Sure. One thing that also takes a lot of time for me, I feel like, I don't know if there's a good solution, but it's like scheduling meetings. So I, I correspond with someone about, about a meeting time, and then I have to go to Google Calendar and then put in the information. And, and I usually email them to just say, hey, I'm doing this, and then I go and do it. So that takes, that takes time. A third thing that I do is that when I actually meet with people, I have a, an Evernote for meetings. So here's a guy named Luke, and we had a meeting. I note down things, and then I put down tasks, which I have to do after the meeting. Like, oh, I have to email in my deck, or I have to do other things. And so I put that right here in the note. Okay, um, great. And so I may need to have to copy that. So another part of my workflow is Asana. So I basically have all these different tasks in Asana. So I'm so constantly- Are those tasks to- basically from, so let's say you have a meeting with somebody, then you have to basically take the meeting notes from Evernote, put them into Asana, or take the, the notes or the tasks from that meeting and put them into Asana. So we're going to look at two things here. First is email communication. And the second is meeting notes. First thing I want you to do is I want you to take that mm-hmm. note from um, that little blurb from Evernote. Okay. And I want you to copy and paste it into here and give this a depending. There you go. Yeah, you got a title right there. So use that. Okay. So we're going to copy that first one. Okay, and so I'm going to put it in here. You're going to paste that there. Okay, so okay. go ahead and use a H1 tag for that using, so Mem uses Markdown. So just, you know, if you do double hashtag, it'll make that an H2. I just like that for the sake of, you know, titles. So double hashtag? Yeah, like cool. Yep, exactly. 
Okay. Should it reformat it or is it? Uh, no, it? press spacebar and it'll it'll format. Like after the double hashtag, press spacebar. Oh, I see. Got it. Cool. Oh, okay. So now what I want you so to do is, is that I the want title you, of the note. Is that that's the title of the note. Yeah. So it's a mem. So the way you you want to think about this is as I was explaining to you the other night. So inside of the brain, no thought exists in isolation, right? So yeah. It basically every thought, every memory you have, every you know piece of knowledge you have, etc is basically a, what do you call it? A node inside of a network. And the node, in, the, in this case, the network is your brain. And what we're doing is we're just externalizing that same concept here. So every single mem is a node in what I call a personal knowledge generation network as opposed to a personal knowledge management system. Now, one thing that I want you to do here is go to the top um, of the mem. Okay, now what you can do here is I would, if you have more than one blurb, let's go ahead and create separate mems for each blurb. And instead of calling this avatry text blurb, use the first, the original title. And then I want you to create two tags underneath that two. And so for tags, you're not going to use the um, space bar, just put in a hashtag and then type in avatry and then put blurbs. Okay, so I should put the tag up here or somewhere else? Yeah, you can put it, you can put it at the bottom. Yeah, there you go. Then go ahead and press create, create, yeah. Blurbs, avatry blurbs gonna, like this? No, go ahead and just get rid of blurbs. Okay. One thing you want to think about is tagging not by topic, but by context. And some notes will have more than one tag, other notes won't. And so go ahead and yeah, blurbs. Okay, uh -huh. cool. So and now what I want the, you- What is your, if you put at the top or the bottom, it sounds like, right? Either one, your, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. It's really a matter of personal preference. Okay. Same thing with blurbs. So blurbs, you want to make sure you create that tag. Oh, I put them at the top. Yeah. So you, yeah, there you go. Perfect. Okay, cool. Okay. So now what I want you to do is I want you to copy all the other blurbs that you have for this and do the same thing. Repeat it. Into separate notes? Yeah. Into separate, separate map, memes. Yeah. Let's do one more and then I will show you a way to dramatically reduce the amount of time you're spending on just cutting and pasting from Evernote. Okay, cool. Perfect. So what I want to show you here are two things, like in terms of, you know, how this network thought process works. Now, if you click on Avatry, okay. click on the Avatry tag, you'll see that all the blurbs right there that you put in are there. And if you click on blurbs, you'll basically see all the blurbs. They're all connected to each other. So you basically, you'll never have to search for these again. All you have to do is, you know, do it. And even if you needed a search, you can just use the search functionality. Open up your email. So let's go ahead and put your cursor uh, inside of Gmail. You got mm -hmm. mem launched. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and put the cursor there. Do command shift spacebar. Boom. And voila. There you go. Success. So basically, obviously, like you'll get rid of the tags and all that stuff like that. But like we've taken something that what was like 25 keystrokes just to copy and paste something in the email and reduced it down to literally a command shift spacebar. And you can do that to copy and paste text from any mem into any other app using command shift spacebar. You can also use that same feature to capture text. So when you're basically coming across things on the web, for example, let's say you find something interesting that you want to read or a link that you want to save, you can just press command shift spacebar and then give it a tag, for example, like resources or whatever, and then save it to mem. So if like you're reading text anywhere on the internet, if you're reading an article or something, or you just find an app you want to check out, or there's a piece of text that you want to save from anywhere. I just, I just want to internet. look at yeah. that. So I'm going to medium right now, let's say. Yeah, go ahead, pay, pick an article. You can either save the entire link where you just, if you press command shift spacebar now, it'll do that. Now highlight the text. Okay. Now press command shift spacebar. Okay. And voila, save selection to new mem. So basically you can now save that text. It basically gives you the source and everything and you can tag it however you want, title it however you want. Now if you press command enter or um, whatever, yeah, yeah, command enter. And now if you go to your okay. main box. Okay. And Got it. there it's right there here. It is. Yep. And how about if I just want to save the whole site? Um, command press, shift space com bar. press command shift space bar and then yeah, save web page to new mem. And voila. Oh, this is huge. I use this for, I use, I use this in Evernote all the time. Yeah, I know. And it's, this and is not only better. that, well, simple. not only, not only that, you can, if you tag everything the right way, 
you literally will never even have to look for it. You can just be like, all right, links from the web as your tag and you know whatever it is, right? Articles or book recommendations, something like that. So tags right. basically are misused and misunderstood because people tag almost entirely by topic. The problem with topics is they're infinite, whereas contexts are much easier to understand. So what is a context? It's like, hey, unmistakable creative transcript, unmistakable creative book notes. Because topics, like I said, just are so infinite that you create this jumbled up. And so it ends up being useless. So basically what we've done is we've taken, you know, already a couple of things that you're doing and we've reduced, you know, that activity down to a handful of keystrokes, even a handful, like literally command shifts, Spacebar, paste. So four key, from 25 to four keystrokes, just by saving the same text that you're using over and over again. Go up to the top, see where it says connect my calendar. Connect my calendar. Scroll up to the top, scroll all the way to the top. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right there. Great. Okay. So you're going to connect your Google Calendar. Okay. Now go back to your timeline view. If you click on the um, timeline fact, on the left hand uh, side. Personal. Okay, oh, yeah, click. I'm to the timeline view. Okay. Okay. So up at the top, you'll see all of your meetings. Like you can scroll, you know, with the meetings. So for example, now you see the meeting chain and screen knowledge management. Go ahead and open that one if you want. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, no, that's a, you don't want to launch the Zoom. You're already in the Zoom, but yes. So that's the other thing. You can launch the Zoom directly from Mem, but if you open the Mem. Okay. Now, what you want to do is here, create a tag called meeting notes. Um, okay. I usually, I, I would do that. That's up to you, however you want to use it. I like, to, you know, two word tags, but that's just me. But yeah, you can two do meeting words, notes. So meeting notes. meeting notes like this? No. Yeah, I, I that's my preference. That's just a matter of preference. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. You couldn't even do that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, okay, cool. So now we have meeting notes. Just enter. So basically what you call them, double br the brackets, but not the curly brackets, square brackets. Space? Yeah. But then do one on the other side, like the right side bracket and press space bar after the brackets. Okay. Enter a tap. Just put in a task one, task two, task three. Oh, screen e. Yeah. Task Add another one. one. So, Perfect. Cool. Okay, cool. All right. Now go over to your tasks view. Tasks view. Yeah. And so for every meeting that you have, you will see all of the tasks right there. So you'll never forget any task for any meeting right after the meeting is done. Wow. You were saying 40% of your time was spent cutting, pasting, managing workflow, right? Yeah. How um, much time yeah, do you I think it'll... I think easily it'll it's going to cut in half or more. I don't know. I have to really get into the rhythm of it. Srini, I feel like you're upgrading my life, to, to be totally honest with you.